If I don't have a plan before I go in, then I'm just gonna go crazy. So much fun. I love going to thrift stores. Benjamin, are you happy? It's just too much for us. Thumbnail. Good morning, guys. It's actually almost afternoon. I wanted to take you guys with me to one of the um, thrift stores that I talked about in a different video. It's called Giddy's Warehouse and it is about 20 minutes away from where I live. So I'm gonna start driving because it is almost 11. So like I said, it's almost the afternoon. They open on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Saturdays I just like to spend time at home. You guys know me, I'm super homebody. Um, so we don't really like to go anywhere on the weekends. So today's Wednesday. They close at 12. They're, they're only open from 9 to 12. So I'm gonna head there and I will see you guys when I get there and I'll tell you guys what my plan is before I go in. If I don't have a plan before I go in, then I'm just gonna go crazy. So I'll see you there. Okay guys, we're here and the owners actually have an, a different storefront where they put like the nicer things. So the warehouse is usually for like overflow from their main store and mostly furniture. But Mila and I have been here once before and we can find some pretty neat things. So what I'm looking for today is... Um, more of those copper tins, those jello copper tins for um, a project we're working on. Fall and Christmas decor. And I'm also thinking, I didn't bring Justin's truck today, but I just want to look at dining room tables because the dining room table we have is so huge. I've had that dining room table since Mila was probably, she was like three or four, maybe even two. And she's 13 now. So I've had that dining room table for a really long time. And I really would like a smaller dining room table and a round one. So the one we have right now is like a rectangle um it's just too bulky the chairs are heavy it's just too much for us but yeah guys let's go see what we can find as you enter these shelves to the left are full of all kinds of decorative dishes i think they try to put a lot of the matching dish sets in this area but you can find other things here as well towards the center and right side is where the bigger furniture are i didn't see any round dining tables on this day so i'll have to keep looking for that i really like this green set here i would have grabbed it if it came with a teapot but i didn't see one so i left it behind in the back there there is a sugar container
This shelf was full of all kinds of salt and pepper shakers. And then this wall here is where Mila found her first copper mold in the shape of a fish. But they didn't have much here today. This lobster shape is one that we've been searching for. But this one was pretty tarnished so I left it behind. But now that I'm rewatching this, I'm thinking I should have just grabbed it anyways. This section is where I found a couple Pyrex baking dishes the last time we were here. They did have a few today but I passed on them. And then these caught my eye. They were a pair of vintage stainless steel cafeteria lunch trays. They were actually really heavy and it felt like really good quality. These also caught my eye in the back room. They had a $1 table and I looked these up. They are actually vintage Bradford Exchange Carousel Dreams wall hanging musical plates is how they're listed on eBay. They were only $1 at this table. And then I found a bunch of Christmas decor back here. I really needed to come earlier on this day because I just needed time to dig through things. It was just piles and piles of Christmas decor. I saw that sleigh back there that now I'm looking at it. I wish I had grabbed it. I didn't like the design on it, but I, I'm thinking now that I could just repaint it. I really like this oversized basket, but the tag on it was $19.50, which seemed pretty steep for a used basket. <laughs> I don't know, do you think that was a good price or am I just being cheap? I thought this painting was really pretty and there were also a ton of old tins well some older than others on these shelves back here I really like this wooden vase, but again, it was priced at $19.50, so I left it behind. But I thought it would look really cute by the fireplace with some dry foliage in there. I don't know, maybe I should go back and get it. Okay, so the wooden vase was the last clip I got at the warehouse, and these next clips that you're gonna see is from their actual shop. I needed to pass the shop on the way home, so I figured I'd stop in and show you guys around. They had most of their fall and Christmas decor outside, and then I'll take you guys inside to look around as well. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes From falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. Trust in our wings to fly 
Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down guys Benjamin and I are at the park right now I totally lost track of time at the thrift stores I ended up going to um, Giddy's actual store after their warehouse I'll show you guys everything I got but I needed to run home to get Mila off to band camp and then since the weather has been kind of cooling down it rained a couple times today I decided to bring Benjamin to the park Benjamin are you happy? Are you a happy boy? Come here. Are you a happy boy? So we're just gonna walk around for a little bit and then I will see you guys. Oh, actually after this, I need to run to Tractor Supply really quick because yesterday one of the chicks laid an egg. So it, it was her first, our first egg. So I need to run to Tractor Supply after the park to get them a feed specifically made for uh, the chickens when they start laying eggs. I guess it's, it has a lot more calcium in it um, because they lose a lot of calcium when they are um, laying eggs. So we're gonna do that after this. Hi guys, it's a couple days later. After I got home on Wednesday, I just got super busy. So I am now filming the haul. Now I didn't get much. I realized once I got to the warehouse, I should have got there much earlier so that I could actually dig through a ton of those things because a lot of it, especially the holiday stuff, um, Christmas and fall decor, it was just kind of piled on each other. Um, so I didn't really get to look through much there, but I did get a few goodies. So let me show you what I got at the warehouse first. Okay, the first thing I got was this. I've seen some pictures on Pinterest with a lot of these like copper tin molds on accent walls. So I wanna make a little accent wall in our kitchen too. This one is much thicker than the other ones we got. And I've said this before, but I have no way, I don't know how to tell whether they are antique or not. I don't think this one is. I just know that it's a little bit more thicker than the ones we got. So this was at the warehouse for 250. I picked that up. And then I saw two of these. I don't even know what it is. Just like a decorative, I don't know, like a decorative foliage. I don't know. And I think it would look really pretty made into a wreath. And since I have two, it'll, it'll look a lot thicker than this. But you guys know that Justin, and his dad put up that sliding barn door in the hallway and I already started painting the hallway. I don't know how it's picking up in camera, but it's a very soft green. Um, it's called livable green. So we have it in our 
living room and I started already painting the hallway and I thought a wreath made out of this would be so perfect on that sliding barn door because if you look closely, it's like dark blue, light blue, but they also have little green and it is almost an exact match to the pink color in the hallway. So I would think this will be like our year round wreath that we have on that barn door because the green just goes so well with that pink color. But then like for fall and Christmas, I could just put like a seasonal color bow on it. Something like that just to dress it up. I could also put picks in it, like pumpkin picks for fall or clip on little ornaments for Christmas, but just have this as our year round wreath in the hallway is what I'm thinking. When I went to check out the gentleman at the counter, so it's 250 for this and these didn't have prices. So he just said uh, $3 for all of it. So I got these for like 25 cents each. Or if you count three pieces for $3, I got them each for a dollar. So I was really happy about that. Now at their storefront, things are marked up a bit more and they tend to be nicer things. I saw a lot of new things with tags and it was repetitive things. So I am thinking they also buy palettes of unsold items from big manufacturer companies. They're called liquidation palettes. So you can buy liquidation palettes and I think that's what they do there too. Okay, so at the storefront, actually, you know what? I said that this one, this one, this copper tin was at the warehouse and I said it was thicker. It, I think it still is thicker than the ones we've got before, but this is the one that was really thick. So this is another copper mold. And I really like, I can't tell if you can see the difference in color. This one really does look copper and it's really thick. I looked up once how to tell if they're vintage. They said there should be a marking, like a company marking or something. This doesn't have any marking, but it's much thicker. And this was marked 350. So at the warehouse, I spent $3 total. And then I'm going to show you the prices here on everything I got at the storefront. But in the end, they only charged me $17. And they usually do that. Um, they'll give like a couple dollars discount. So I think if you add up all the prices on what I'm about to show you, it comes out to like $18.50. But she just sold everything to me for $17. So in total, I spent $20. So this is the first thing I got at the storefront. The next thing I got is a set of four. This is brand new with tags, like brand new in the box. It's a set of four cheese spreaders made of stainless steel blade and hand painted resin is, let me take this off. It's really cute. There's little farm animals. Isn't that really cute? So I really wanted the chickens. The sticker on this says 450. I just thought that was really cute. It says cheese spreader, but we're probably just gonna use it for jelly, butter, stuff like that. If you guys can hear that noise in the background, I'm sorry, that's just, he's fixing the lawnmower. Okay, the next thing I got is this little stand, which this is a fall decor, but you can use it year round. So for the fall decor side, it says, every year I fall for pumpkins, bonfires, s'mores, autumn leaves, apples, and you. So that's the fall decor side. But if you flip it over or turn it around, you can just use it to show this side and all it says is welcome to our home. So I figure year round, I could leave this at the entryway shelf and then during fall, I can flip it for this side. The price tag on this was $4.50. This one I picked up also as a fall decor. I'm not sure, are grapes a fall fruit? I don't know. But I just thought this was really cute. It's just a ceramic decor. Their price tag on it was $2.50. And I thought that would be really pretty 
as a little fall decor. I also got these, which are salt and pepper shakers. They're acorns. I'm not gonna use them as salt and pepper shakers. I figured they would just be cute sitting maybe next to this at the entryway table or me maybe even on our corner shelf. I did also get that three-tiered tray you guys saw this past Christmas. I got that from Timu. So I've been looking for things that I could decorate the three-tiered tray with. So this might also look cute on the three-tiered tray. I'm not sure. I just thought they were really simple and elegant. I love the color. Um, and even though they are salt and pepper shakers, I'm just gonna use them as little decor pieces. So guys, that was everything I got at the thrift stores that I visited on Wednesday. I spent 20 bucks, so much fun. I love going to thrift stores. If you enjoyed this video and would like to come to more thrift stores with me, definitely either hit the thumbs up button or let me know down in the comments so that I can make more videos like this for you. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me today and I will see you in my next video. Bye.